Hey, what's up guys, Phil here, and this is a review for the Carriage Kitchen Roll Cutting Dispenser. You'll receive the Kitchen Roll Cutter and a brief illustrated user manual. The tool measures 15 inches wide, 5 inches deep, and 4 inches tall. On both sides, there are two push-to-release buttons, and on top, you have two clear windows, so you can look inside and see how much of the roll is remaining. On the bottom of the unit are four removable suction cup feet to help stabilize and keep the unit steady during use. They are quite strong though, so if you plan on moving the device around a lot, you may want to take them off. Finally, at the front of the unit is the sliding cutting blade, which slides in a track and cuts in both directions. To get started, press the release buttons on the sides for the upper chamber and lift open the top. This unit comes preloaded with an 11 inch wide by 20 feet vacuum sealer bag roll. The roll is suspended by a plastic tube roller, which sits in the middle of the machine like so. When installing a roll, it doesn't matter if the product unrolls from the top or from the bottom. Press the two release buttons for the blade guide in the front and it should pop up. Then feed the edge of your roll under the guide and snap it back down into place before closing the top cover. When you're ready to make a new bag, press the buttons to lift the guide in the front, then simply pull out the length of material that you need, snap down the guide, and slide the blade from one end to the other while pressing down firmly. This will create a perfectly straight cut with no jagged edges, which makes creating custom length vacuum seal bags quick and easy. This machine can cut other rolls too, like plastic wrap and aluminum foil. In the US, many of our kitchen roll products have a standard 12 inch width. And you may find that the cardboard roll they come on is slightly too large for this machine, or have a tight fit that doesn't allow the roll to spin freely. However, you can still use these if you trim down the cardboard insert with a pair of sharp scissors. Just make sure the roll spins freely on the plastic tube once installed. Then feed the material through the guide as shown previously, release the guide and pull out the length you need, and slide the cutting blade across. The blade cuts in both directions too, so it doesn't matter if you move from right to left or from left to right. While parchment paper roll in US grocery stores are typically sold in a 15 inch width, you can find other sizes online. Just make sure you confirm it's no wider than 12 inches if you plan on using the roll in this cutter. Also, keep in mind that the maximum roll diameter that this cutter can accommodate is 3.5 inches. One final thing to note is that the cutting blade is removable. By gently spreading the two rails in the middle of the guide, you can pop the blade out. But be careful, because it's very sharp. You can see that there are two cutting faces, one on either side, and this allows you to clean the blades, sharpen, or replace them. To reinstall the cutting blade, gently separate the tracks in the middle of the guide with your finger and insert the blades, then you can once again use it normally. Overall, this cutting dispenser makes cutting different kitchen rolls of any type to the exact size you need quick and easy. There are no jagged edges, no saw blades you can slice your fingers on, and it's easy to change the rolls and cut a variety of products with just one device. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.